This isn't vanilla Minecraft. This wasn't my skin before. This wasn't in vanilla Minecraft either. What's going on? So hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Maplecraft. Uh, as you can see, we've switched to a modded uh, server actually. So we're no longer in vanilla, this is modded Minecraft. Exciting. I'm. Are you excited guys? I'm very excited. Because you know what this means is that we can get super maple going into here. Uh, so you might be wondering what happened to this uh, series as I go into this uh, little thing to keep myself safe. Uh, so essentially what happened with the old server was that uh, one of the ops of the server just basically spawned in a lot of stuff and abused a lot of stuff. So the legitimacy of the server just kind of fell off and none of us were pretty happy with what was going on. So uh, we decided to scrap it and say we... Oh man, the music's a bit too loud. There we go. So yeah, we decided to scrap all of that and say, screw it, let's start a fresh new server. And we voted and we all wanted modded Minecraft. So we are currently on the Hermit Pack uh, 1.10 version so as you can see this is some probably chiseled marble or something and whatever i only have like limited knowledge in modded minecraft so we're going to be experimenting a lot but nonetheless our goals haven't changed we're going to do a lot of maple story related stuff and i'm going to be building stuff uh in relation for my fans and donators and whatever so i'm gonna get going and get myself situated in the server and I will see you guys when I am ready. Right, so a lot of time has passed, so I should probably put all of you up to speed, huh? So, uh, I got myself situated a little bit in the game, uh, not too much though, so maybe I should give you a little tour around this base of mine. Uh, just today actually, my roommate who plays on the server as well, uh, asked to basically team up with me so he brought all of his stuff over so this is why this ugly piece of structure is <laughs> here <laughs> it's so ugly this is a blue netherrack i believe let's quickly check yeah it's so ugly uh yeah so he has his own stuff over here but let me just give you a quick tour so over here i have a tinker tank and all that not a tinker tank a smeltery sorry um for those who don't play mod in minecraft uh, this is a mod called tinker construct where you can basically make uh all your tools from different sets of materials for example this pickaxe was made by like uh basically end game material so this is an end game pickaxe that i have that's not even complete yet uh over here I have a speed farm. This is actually really, really broken. Uh, I can demonstrate it if I can find where I put my scythe. Uh, let's... nowhere? Okay, well I can demonstrate it regardless without it. But basically, in the middle here is an item called a torturino. Kind of looks like a torch except it's a little bit, bit, bit blue. But it basically speeds up ticks in Minecraft or things that require time. So if I went and did this, uh, you can see that the plants just basically instantly grow back, which is amazing. So I just use this for food. I just make a bunch of uh, toast from it. Uh, I'm not going to try and explain too much of the mods uh, in case that there are people who know about it. But at the same time, for those that who don't know about it, uh, you can join the server and fi find out on yourself. It's a... Uh, pretty magical journey if i do say so myself learning all the mods it's overwhelming much like uh whenever maple story releases a new patch but at the same time it's super fun uh so here's all my chests of uh random crap these iron ones are uh, kobe's my roommates and then uh these ones are mine i don't have too much stuff in here excuse me and i saw this guy coming already so i just want to get rid of him first Okay, and then over here is the tinker stuff that I was mentioning earlier. This is basically all of the tables that you need to make 
those tools. Here's more of uh, my roommate stuff. Just uh, here are some basic Ender I.O. machines. Like I said earlier, I'm not going to try and explain much because uh, I, for the sake of time, I would uh, just rather tell you what it is and then I'll explain it later. Uh, and then here I have a Sugar King farm. I swap out the Torturino for uh, here as well as once in a while. Uh, oh, I guess I can show you something then. Uh, you can make these cool blocks called a Sugar King block. They actually look pretty nice. I might try and incorporate a, a build with these, so it kind of gives off that like uh, mushroom shrine, uh, basically Asian look, right? So yeah, uh, the, uh, the other reason why is because uh, this works as fuel as well. Uh, let me just, I'll, I'll put a piece of sugar cane in here just to show you. Uh, so this feeds into this generator which feeds into this storage bank and it powers these two machines that we're using uh, then over there's our enchanting table there's a small tree farm over there with an apple tree and a pear tree here's our nether portal there's nothing to see in the nether and that's about it yeah I had to pause for a second because that's uh that was a very embarrassing voice crack Anyway, so two things that I want to deal with. Right now, my current project is to make an automatic fishing farm. So to make that, uh, where, wait, where'd it go? Uh, here it is. So to make an automatic fishing farm, you're, you need four cobweb. But uh, the only way to get cobweb is to kill spiders, which is a very rare drop from them. Or you can uh, s s throw silk touch onto shears. And uh, I tried making an automatic fishing farm over there, uh, but it didn't work out because I guess some of the mechanics w when it got translated to mod, it just fell out the window. We are on 1.10.2, so I guess that that's one of the things that was ruined was uh, right-clicking on doors. Uh, sorry, iron doors. Uh, you used to be able to right-click on iron doors, but right now I'm clicking right-clicking and it's not working. So I tried the workarounds on it, but even then that didn't work. So that's not good. But I do need an automatic fishing farm just for the sake of it. And as you can see from this chest, I actually have three here. So the only other way is to get Silk Touch on Shears. And since, like I said earlier, I couldn't get the automatic fishing farm right, I can't get any enchanted books. So the other way of doing it is to use an enchanter. And what you can do with this is that you can... Let me find the uh, recipe for it. Uh, I think I passed it here. So with a slime ball and 15 lapis lazuli, you can make a enchanted book. And then that's how I'm going to... Uh, get my last cobweb so unfortunately to make that uh, we're gonna need dark steel which is an alloy in ender io which is some which is exactly what I have these machines for and uh, to make it you need uh, some coal some iron Ooh, I should grab that uh, oops I am terribly unprepared for this recording <laughs> excuse me uh, so let's just grab four pieces of iron here and uh, I do need one more obsidian which is really unfortunate because uh, I for some reason on the server I just can't seem to find a cave deep enough to uh, just keep find lava or diamonds or redstone so I'm gonna have to go for caving eventually and find an actual cave but yeah I'm just gonna take the lava from that cobblestone generator I don't think I'm gonna need it now but essentially what we can do now is that if we throw all three of these items at once, uh, this is a glitch. Wait, hold on. Why did it take my refined iron ingot? Uh-oh, that's not good. Hold on a second. This says iron ingot, coal dust, and obsidian. So what's going on? Is Oh, is it going to make it now? Oh, please don't tell me that's... Oh, my goodness. Oh, but on the brighter side of things, it's... uh I didn't lose the obsidian. Right now, I'm having the biggest trouble trying to make obsidian. Uh, I'm going to eventually make an automated farm, but right now, uh, th 
I, I, I just need to get the basic tools down and get all the stuff unlocked. I need to get to the dragon, the uh, nether. I need to get basically all of that stuff unlocked. And then uh, I can get started on the build. So while uh, this stuff is getting cooked up, I guess I can tell you what the plan is on this server. So like I said earlier, um, Maple Maplecraft is a Minecraft server, modded Minecraft server that is run by uh maple story community and it's not like an official thing but uh i do play this with a bunch of friends who play maple story who are from many different servers such as uh broa uh croa and uh windia as well i believe uh my roommate the one that's living with me plays in scania so uh i guess team scania for the win <laughs> Anyways, uh, so our plan is, um, once we all get settled, we're going to try and get a central area for a hub. So then, so that's going to be one of the projects currently between me and my roommate. We're in charge of doing that. Hopefully, I will have enough time for this episode if I finish explaining all of this stuff quickly that I can throw in a couple of clips of us building the nether hub. But... Uh, we eventually want to build as many mini games as possible, just like party games. Like, basically, imagine Mario Party with Maple Story themes built into Minecraft. That's basically what we're gonna try and do. Uh, we have tons of ideas for mini games. It's top secret, though. I don't want to share with any of you just yet. You're gonna have to join the server uh, in order to do that. And to get the IP for the server, right now, like I said er earlier, it's this is very. The server is very young and it's in its infancy, so the main members of Maplecraft are still trying to get themselves situated because uh, some of them are modded Minecraft noobs, so they're trying to learn as fast as they can. But when the time comes, uh, I will allow, sorry, I will try and invite a lot of my fans over here. Uh, if you are interested in joining, please let me know. Uh, I believe uh, they've given the okay for me to invite people. So if you would like to come in and get started on the modern Minecraft server, please give me your Discord tag in the comment section below. So that is your username, followed by the pound sign, followed by the four-digit uh, number that is with your uh, Discord tag. Sorry. And then uh, I will add you personally, and then uh, I'll give you the IP. So right now, I'll just limit it to a few people that I know. But once we get uh, it all settled down, then uh, we'll be able to invite more people in. So if, hopefully this will go well. I'm really looking forward to... Uh, W playing Minecraft with all my fans and stuff, uh, especially the party games. So, yeah. <laughs> Boop. Boop. And then finally. Wait. What? Are you kidding me? What? Well, wouldn't you know it, luck was on my side, and I managed to find a spider spawner, which is uh, pretty amazing. So I'm just going to be not trying to knock these guys out until I get my hands on a uh, piece of cobweb for that automatic fishing farm. And I just checked all the recordings for uh, this episode. It does seem like I'm hitting around that 20 minute mark again. So that is really unfortunate, and but what's not fortunate was that I got two pieces of cobweb. That is some in really good luck. Uh, but uh, we're just gonna go back to base, and then I'm going to uh, yeah. I just made like a really crude way of getting out. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So unfortunately. I don't think I can go make this go any longer, but next episode, I'll try and do some stuff with uh, maplers and stuff. Definitely gonna 
uh, do that thing I was gonna say with my roommate of building the nether hub starting with maybe a few mini games as well and then maybe I can get some of the other maple players playing as well uh, but thank you so much for watching I know like this isn't maple story but this is something I do enjoy uh, doing and I hope that uh, if you do like Minecraft uh, I hope you can come and join on the server and play with all of us. Like I said before, we all of us play Maple Story, so we're no stranger to that. Uh, but but this is just like a nice way of uh, doing something that's just not Maple Story that all of us can do because uh, since we're all bo bounded by uh, the world we play in, this is like an all inclusive thing. Not to mention, it gives us some some stuff to do while maintenance happens, which. I'm sure you guys know of already because, you know, uh, freaking Nexon just cannot seem to get anything right. Uh, about my Maple Story series, I'm very far behind in terms of videos, uh, but I am going to be editing them uh, hopefully this weekend. Uh, so I will hopefully churn out a few more episodes before I have to fly out to Hong Kong. Uh, I do have details about that in one of the later Maple Story videos. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Uh, like I said, I know no, this is a Maple Story, so it's not as popular. But like I said earlier, if you're interested in playing on this modded server, uh, please give me your Discord uh, tag. Uh, we you will need Discord to uh, communicate with me and the other people on the server because it is what we use. And I really love this item. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, if you're interested, leave your Discord tag and I'll pick like one or two people to join the server. And then once the server is more developed, I'll let more people join in. But for now, I'm just going to try and get a couple people. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.